Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. HL and Safran helicopter engines have long history of engine development and production and the most famous of all is Shakti engine which is a derivative of Turbo Mega TM333 engines. The Shakti engine is the backbone of HL's rotor craft be it LH Dhruv, Rudr or light combat helicopter LCH Prachand. A variant of same engine which is RTN 1U powers the new light utility helicopter LUH. More than 500 Shakti engines have already been produced till date. Now as we all know, HL is also developing a 13 ton class helicopter called IMRH which will also be powered by new engine to be co-developed by Safran and HL. During Aero India 2023, Safran and HL have signed a work share agreement for joint development of this engine. This agreement is a follow-up of the Memorandum of Understanding which was signed on 8 July 2022 which stipulates the sharing of activities within joint venture where both the parties have agreed on an equivalent repartition. In particular, HL will take part in design, development and production of some of the core engine components which is a breakthrough achievement in terms of expertise and know-how inside the country. As per the 17th August ET report, the HAL Chairman and Managing Director CB Anand Krishna told that for development of a new engine for IMRH, a joint venture is being formed with Safran. The joint venture will be in place within the next three months. The engine will jointly developed and the IPR that is intellectual property rights will remain within the country. The HAL CMD also told that the project timelines are very short and HL need to come up with helicopters within 6 to 7 years. Things now are moving very fast. The program has been expedited with the Defense Ministry and a funding proposal is likely to be submitted soon. HL is developing IMRH helicopters of 13 ton category for armed forces to replace the aging fleets of Russian origin MI series of helicopters which will start to phase out from 2028-29. This helicopter will be capable of landing and takeoff from 5 km altitude and will be the only helicopter in its class to do so. HL has completed the preliminary design review and it is planned to carry out the development process for multi role helicopters and is waiting for the government funding. Once government approves the funding for this project, the first flight will take off 4 years from then. One unit cost will cost around 300 crore rupees. IMRH that is Indian multi-role helicopter is going to be a twin engine multi-role multi-mission 13 ton class weight of medium lift helicopter. It is being designed to perform versatile roles and operation which includes support air assault, air transport, VIP transport, combat logistics such as troop transport, combat search and rescue and casualty evacuation operations. It will eventually replace the MI-17 helicopters of Indian Air Force and will be better in many aspects than its latest version. Now considering the requirement of our armed forces, it's estimated that Indian Air Force, Army and Navy will procure 200, 114 IMRH helicopters respectively. The naval variant is going to be a bigger one than Army and Air Force version and is being called as DBMRH or deck-based multi-role helicopter. The overall cost of procurement of 314 IMRH will be around $20 billion. The helicopter will be developed in collaboration with private players with minimum 50% indigenous component. The Naval Chief has said that the case for DBMRH is at pre a one stage. The design and development process is expected to take about 7 to 8 years to enable realization of platform commencing from 9th year of the project sanction. DBMRH for Indian Navy would be in three variants which is anti-surface warfare, anti-submarine warfare, second one is special ops and third one is airborne early warning. Now talking about the technical specifications of IMRH, it is going to be equipped with smart cockpit, composite and modular airframe, crashworthy tricycle landing gear, 4-axis automatic flight control system 
and state of art mission systems along with advanced avionic systems the helicopter will have service ceiling of 6.5 km range of 800 km endurance of 3 hours and payload of 4000 kg with a maximum cruising speed of 270 km per hour IMRH will be the most spacious helicopter in its category with troop carrying capacity of 24 to 36 The helicopter is being designed to operate in extreme weather conditions and high altitudes it will have five foldable blades in main rotor which is made up of composite material the tail will have four rotor blades IMRH will have four hard points where it can carry four anti tank guided missiles and each hard point can carry payload of up to 300 kg it can also carry 500 kg of payload on hard points near the fuselage in total it will have weapon payload capacity of 1600 kg and overall payload capacity of 4000 kg at an altitude of 4.5 km it will be able to carry payload of 1000 kg which will be best in its class The helicopter will also be equipped with electronic warfare suite and self-protection jammer. In order to fast track the development, AMC and IMRH have been placed under SPV that is special purpose vehicle model which involves private players with majority of stake. The idea behind giving majority stake to private players is to speed up the procurement process and cut down the unwanted red tape which we have in our PSUs procurement process and reduce the cost according to HAL it has issued the expression of interest in april 2022 for selection of spv partner currently the helicopter is in preliminary design phase and hl has completed the phase 1 of wind tunnel testing on imrh air force scale down model and results are satisfactory The phase 2 of wind tunnel testing is under progress. The structural test of the unarmed version of IMRH is planned to be conducted in 2023 followed by its first flight in 2024. The armed version of IMRH will undergo structural testing by 2025. The new helicopter is expected to enter into production by 2029. This was today's update. Please let us know your views on this in comment section. If you like the video, do not forget to like, share and subscribe. With this, I would like to say goodbye and jai hind. We'll soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in the defense sector.